Hello friends, welcome to our channel and in this video we will learn the concept of dependent drop-down list in Excel. We have the data which includes the continent. In the continents we have the certain countries and in the country we have the certain cities. We need to create the dependent drop-down list like if I select the continent Asia then we will get the countries related to Asia and if I select the country then we will get the related data according to the country. For suppose if I select the Europe country then it will give me the name of the countries related to Europe and if I select the continent Asia then it will give the name of the countries related to Asia. And if I select the China, so it will give me the name of the cities related to China. And if I select the India, then it will give me the data related to India. This is how we will learn or this is what we learn, how we can link the data in the drop down list or how we can create a dependent drop down list in Excel. Let's start our example. We have the certain data which includes the continent and in the continents we have the certain countries and in the country we have the certain cities. We need to make the continent and according to the continent we will assign the country and in the country we have the certain cities here that we have already assigned. And this is how we will create the dependent drop down list. For the first one which is the continent, so we simply use the drop down or we simply use the data validation function. But before that, we need to assign the select list or we need to assign certain functions like for the first one, we need to select the whole continent column. And in the column, we go here in the formula and in the formula, we can see here the create from selection. So I click on it and in the create selection, we need to make sure that we have tick the top row and untick the remaining data. Then press OK. In the similar way, you can select the column and go here in the create from selection and press ok. You can also use the whole data and again go here and create for selection and untick the remaining and top row. Press ok. Now you can check your data like go here in the name manager and you can see here the assigned data. You can also match with your data like the continent Europe, Asia, then China and then India. Then now we need to select the continent cell and in the continent cell we go here in the data validation. In the data validation function we have this data validation. I just click on it and after clicking first we need to go here in the list and in the list we need to assign the source and in the source we have the continent so we select the first two continent and then press ok so it will give us the defined continent like Asia and Europe then for the second function like first if I select the Asia so it gives us the Asia then for the second function Again, I need to go here in the data tab and in the data tab, I need to select the data validation function. And in the data validation, I select the list, but in the source, we need to make certain changes. Like we simply need to write equals to indirect bracket open. After writing the indirect, we simply need to give the reference of the continent cell. So I just press click so it will give the reference or it will give the reference of the cell. Now I just close the bracket and press enter. 
Now, in the Asia, it will automatically give the countries like China, Japan, and India. And if I change the continent, so it also changed the country's data. This is how we have created the second function. And similarly for the cities, we again go here in the data tab. In the data tab, we will click on data validation and in the data validation, we go here in the list and in the source, we again need to write here equals to indirect bracket open and for the reference, we will give the reference of the country and then bracket and simply need to close. Now, if we have select the China, then it will assign the cities of the China. And if I go here in the India, so it gives us the name of the cities of India. But we need to make sure that if we use here the continents, so like Asia, we have to be the column of Asia. And in the China, we should consider or we should include the column whose name is China. If I write here Asia and, and if I create a column whose data or whose name is not mentioned according to the given data, the formula will not work. So we need to be make sure that we have used the correct data and if I use Asia then a column of Asia should be present if I use the China so the column of China should be present in order to give the reference this is how we have created the dependent drop-down list and we can increase further data if you want to like if I select the China and I can select the cities of China but if I go here in the Europe, in the Europe I have certain restricted name like Spain but I do not have any Spain column. So it will freeze the data because there is no other option available in the Spain. So for the Spain I need to create another column and for the, for the France I need to again create column and then I need to write the city's name in order to make it more detailed. This is how we have learned in this example. If you face any confusion, please write in our comment section.